friends, it is Thais living in Sync Hair, and today is Synchronicity Day, so I'm sharing my synchronicities today, and for those of you who are new to Law of Attraction and this whole world of creating your own reality, synchronicities are also known as coincidences, except that coincidences are known to be like random little events that happen in our lives that are like connected, but with synchronicity is the awareness that these things are not happening randomly. They're happening through the law of attraction and we are actually creating these things or these events to happen. So, um, I will be sharing some of my synchronicities that recently happened. Some of the ones that stood out. I have synchronicities all the time, like every single day. So, I'm not going to be sharing every one of them because that will be like too much. We can be here for like six hours on this video if I were to share all of them but I'm just gonna share a few of them so one of my most recent synchronicities that stood out was when I went to meet up with my mom last month so I haven't seen my mom for a few months and we met up and we're just having a conversation and she told me how she has diabetes and we're having this whole conversation about diabetes. I'm telling her about exercising and how she needs to eat healthier. And we actually met up at the hospital because she was at her doctor's appointment to get like her medicine and everything for her diabetes. So, you know, we hung out that whole day for about six hours and, you know, we were just talking about it and I'm thinking about it. So we depart, I go home, she goes home. So when I get home, I eat dinner and I get into bed and I turn on Netflix, what I always do. So I turn on Netflix and I went to one of my favorite shows, which is Blackish. And I clicked on the show. And how about the very episode I clicked on, which was the next episode up, was all about diabetes. <laughs> And the name of the episode was called Sugar Man. I didn't get the name of it, but after I watched the episode, then I realized why they gave it that title. So the whole episode was about diabetes. Guy like Dre, the main character in the show, he had diabetes and he was going to his appointment and his doctor telling him how he had to eat healthier and exercise. And he's given this whole history and educational content about diabetes especially like in the black community so you know that was such a cool synchronicity I'm like okay I just I haven't seen my mom for months and I'm on this show I'm in the middle of the show and you know as soon as I see her right after I see her is when I aligned to watch that next episode so yeah that was one of my synchronicities so another synchronicity I have is meeting up with my brother so about two weeks ago I went to my brother's home and we were supposed to meet up that day and you know he gave me a time he was like meet up at two o'clock so you know around 1 30 I got on the train and I'm like okay I'm on my way now and he's like panicking he's like oh my goodness why are you there so early he thought I was actually at his home but I wasn't I was headed to the train station so he was like oh my goodness I'm on my way back home um I'm on the train right now so I'm just waiting for the train so I told him not to worry about it because I'm not at his house I'm getting on the train from my stop to go to his stop so I got on the train and just rode the entire train ride and then got off the train and realized he was actually on the same train but he was like two carts up I thought that was such a cool synchronicity because we were supposed to meet up that day and we just aligned on the same train and actually met up in a completely different way. <laughs> so yeah, that was another one of my synchronicities. Okay guys, so this third synchronicity was so cool. I was just so amazed by this synchronicity. So two videos ago, I did a video topic on how to manifest money. I don't know if you guys checked that video out. But I did that video, and in that video, I was just talking about, you know, being the vibrational match to attract money and how to release limited beliefs around money and form new beliefs. And I'm doing this video, and I'm such in this 
world of money you know I'm doing this video so obviously money 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 is on my mind and you know I'm vibrating to money so I go to edit the video and this was like two days later I go to edit that same video and while editing the video my partner walked in the house and he's like are you expecting a check in the mail and I said no I'm not expecting a check what and this is while I'm editing the How to Manifest Money video. So I got the check from him and I realized this check was something I totally forgot about. It was from a survey I took from like December, like a month earlier. And after I took that survey, I was just so detached. I wasn't even waiting for this check. I, I forgot about it. Like. If I didn't get that check, I would have never remembered it because I'm just doing so much at a time and I'm manifesting money from all these different places. So I am i wasn't focused on that money or that check. <laughs> I totally forgot about it, guys. And for it to come at that exact moment, that was such a cool synchronicity. Like, while I'm editing a video on money, money showed up in my life and... This was from something I totally forgot about. This was very unexpected and random, of course. And the funny thing about this survey was that they said my compensation would be a gift card to Target. They never said anything about a check. It was a Target gift card is what I remembered. So that's why I was surprised they actually sent money instead of the gift card. <laughs> that synchronicity was so cool. Okay, so this other synchronicity has to do with the four love languages. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this book, but it's really, really popular. And, you know, I have a lot of good ratings. So, I took a test online because I was watching YouTube and this blogger, she was mentioning taking the four love languages test because she took it with her husband. So, I thought it was pretty cool. So, I went and looked it up and I took the test and I got my results for my love language and you know I forgot all about it and then three weeks later I'm in the library and mind you I haven't been to a library in about five years or something I haven't been to the library in a very long time so this was my first time back in the library for years and you know I'm in the library and I'm looking for books and I don't even know what section I think it was like the cooking section so I'm just looking for books and just browsing around and then you know my eyes just zeroed in on the four love languages book <laughs> and you know the book was at the very bottom shelf and it was just so like hidden it like they had the books like facing up instead of the book I don't know if I can really explain it but you know how the libraries or any type of bookshelf how you usually stack a book where you push it in the shelf and then you can see like the outside spine of the books they didn't have it like that on the bottom shelf the books were actually the spine was actually facing up so for me to see that I had to really be in tune with that book so I did end up checking out the book <laughs> so when I seen it I took the test oh it's actually five five love languages I said four yeah, it's five love languages. So, yeah, I actually got the book, and I just felt like it was a sign from the universe. I need to read this book. And, you know, I, I just really thought this synchronicity, how this book aligned in my life was so cool. I took the test, forgot about it. I guess I was vibrating to it when I took the test, and then ended up with the book from the library I haven't been to in years. So that synchronicity was also pretty cool to me. Okay, so the final synchronicity I want to share is about the movie Proud Mary. Okay, so I took a survey about the movie Proud Mary and I forgot all about it. I don't know what it is about surveys, guys, but I realize I always have like synchronicity surrounding surveys I take. So I took this movie about Proud Mary and, you know, no thoughts about it. I didn't have any desire or intentions to go see this movie. So about three weeks after taking the survey, I was talking to my mom about going to the park. And then 
you know, on the day we were supposed to go to the park, I messaged her. I was like, hey, are you up to going to the park today? And she's like, no, I'm busy today. I'm going somewhere. So I was like, okay. So after that, she called me back in like two hours. And she was like, hey, I was wondering if you wanted to come with me. I was going to the movies today. And I'm like, okay, I'll go to the movies. And then I was like, what movie are you watching? And then she was like, Proud Mary. So we ended up going to see Proud Mary after me taking this survey about Proud Mary without even like thinking about it or putting two and two together or without the intention of going to see it myself. So yeah, those were my five synchronicities I thought I'd share today. I love synchronicities, like I always say. But yeah, I was so happy to share this video with you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a rating. Leave some synchronicities down below. I would love to hear them and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.